Welcome back to the PvP show. We're here again in SnowRunner. And we have something pretty darn amazing. Is this the best scout? We're fitting to find out. That's for sure. And we say that as a question because, of course, it depends on what you're looking for. Me, personally, when I first saw this truck, I wasn't sure I was going to like it. The pictures don't do it justice. It almost looks mm, comic-y, like comic book type, you know. But, in all reality, this truck looks pretty darn good. Granted, he did not draw this truck. This model was given to him. From what I understand, I could be wrong. Second, this truck is the beginning of what this guy can do. Is Iceberg, I believe, is his mod IO tag, is what you'll see when you download the truck. And Delta Gaming is his YouTube channel. You should go subscribe to this dude and support him. The more support guys like this get, the better it is for our community. The more mods we get like this, this should be coming to console. If you want to see what I'm talking about, here we go. Morning time. Look at this sucker. This looks good. This looks real good. Ready for this? Listen to that, man. Tell me that doesn't sound good. Oh, yeah. Alright, this is the Delta pickup. I'm pretty sure this will be on console here very shortly if it's not already. Let's go ahead and recover this so you can see some of the things that it has. Alright, so you see here this view? This is kind of the pictured view you got. It almost looks like it's... I don't know. I can't quite put my finger on it. But out in the real world, this thing looks absolutely amazing to me. But here in this view, there's something I can't quite put my finger on. Maybe it's the boldish kind of outlines around the doors because of the wear. So it makes it look like a really bold line. Or maybe that it's completely flat right there on the back. Like there is no curve to it at all. I don't know. Other than that, I love this truck. And I didn't think I would because of the pictures I saw. That in the first five minutes. I was like, Ugh, it feels a little different than what I'm used to. But then I realized that that different was good. At least to me. Opinions vary. Keep that in mind. This is just my personal opinion. Here, let's go through some of these tires for you. It's got a dually setup. So you got these right here. Some highway tires. Pretty nice. I love how he puts the dirt and kind of wear look on the tires. Really brings that kind of like authentic look out on it. Look, those look pretty nice. I think he made these. I think he designed these and made these himself. Not all of them. Those set back there is one of them that I'm pretty sure of. Those are kind of sick. I like that right there. Ooh, that's real nice. I like that. For a dually setup. Personally, I go with the Super Swampers. Those just look so clean to me. Ooh, 
yeah, the tires could be flipped so that the lettering is not reversed on it if you really want to get into it. But other than that, those are so sick, dude. Because I bet on this side it says it. I don't know. I can't really tell. Look at these. Those are crazy. Not really my style. It doesn't mean they're not, like, well done. It's just not what I would put on my truck. Those are sick, though. You got the chain tires. You got an autonomous scout, then it's extended. Diff lock upgrade. Comes on. Oops. You got your snorkels. Your frame add-ons. You got some extra front weight for towing when you got the dually set up. I got the rear box in. There's a flatbed. Oh, you got a side box? What? That's sick. I gotta see what that looks like real quick. Look at that. That looks sick. I don't like that you can't put the gooseneck trailer on the flatbed because that is something that you do commonly see. You can run without the bed at all too. Alright, you got your antenna, mud flaps for the dually or for the flatbed. You got some lights, you got a light bar. I'm not particularly fond of a light bar, especially on an old school truck like this. It just doesn't match for me. I mean, let me possibly get some KC lights or something, you know? That'd be pretty sick. Run through these colors for you real quick. Like I said, in the shop, these pictures just don't do it justice. I really like the black out there in the open world. I'm kind of curious what the green would look like out there, though. Delta Gaming, right there. That's pretty sick. I like that he put that in there. Uh, yeah, this interior you're about to see when we get out here, super well done. Probably one of the best interiors I've seen. Mud bog in time. Alright, you see what I'm saying? Like, in the garage, this just doesn't do it justice. You get that lighting on it out here, it looks way better. And I kind of like that green, actually. It looks pretty sick. It drives very well. I wanted to go hit this trailer. Where was it at? It's over behind us. Right here. Alright, let's go hit this up and show you how it does. Try to make this a decently quick video. I know some of y'all want to get to the point. Some of my videos are quite long. I get, you know, just to having fun and showing you guys. It goes pretty, pretty uh, quick whenever you're uh, in two-wheel drive. Whoa! That's another thing I wanted to touch on real quick. Uh, fuel. It does drink it. It does have a pretty realistic fuel tank. Uh, you do get some in your toolbox. I'm assuming you got a gas can in there. Hopefully it's tied down pretty good. Although there is, I think, 24 gallons in your toolbox. So, I mean, some things aren't super unrealistic, but trust me, you want that fuel in there. You know what I mean? All right, we're going to stop right here. We're actually going to off-road this. We got this fine-tuned gearbox. Oh, I shouldn't have stopped yet. See, this is what I'm talking about. You actually got to drive this thing. And it, 
If you don't know, this is possibly one of the reasons why it could not be on console yet. Well, phase three is out, I think, for console. But a uh, fine tune. Look at this. Look at all that fine tuning. You can go anywhere. Now, one thing I do wish that it was is that this three high or this three low was a little bit more. Like it had a little more. Like it was closer to the high. And so that way you get more like range. See like that right there. Like if that three was at this speed instead of that, you'd have more variation between the gears, making it more useful to go in between. As it is with not much range in between one and three, there's not a whole lot of use for these fine tuned gears. But if you was to make this difference from here to hear wider there'd be a lot more use for in between if you get what I'm saying like possibly even that'd be kinda cool to get rid of high like just get rid of it and then just stick with just this fine tune and then replace this with high or even a little bit higher and then just basically make it like an automatic gearbox where you're just shifting through your gears that'd be pretty cool Yeah, this truck is pretty awesome. Let's try to save some fuel. Get up this hill in two-wheel drive. See if we can get this in two-wheel drive. We're in high. Oh, it ain't got it. It ain't got it. We're going to tear up the trail. Let's, uh... Oh, we may need, to get, may need to get a little momentum. Lock it in. There we go. By the way, this is TMB Trails map. Absolutely phenomenal map. I love this map. This map and this truck, mm, like peanut butter and jelly, they just go hand in hand. Kind of like this map and the Ram Charger. This truck does have some good weight to it. That's to be expected. It is a pretty heavy truck. So you gotta appreciate that he made it heavy. Because it would have been a heavy truck. Like So be careful going in deep mud having said that. Cause uh oops. Cause you will sink. This is not a badass mud truck by any means. It will go through mud, just not deep mud. You will bury it down to the axles and then, I mean, what happens when you bury a truck down to the axles in real life? You're gonna have issues. Now that being said, sometimes you'd think it would go through deeper stuff than it did with these uh, huge swampers. But if you're driving non uh, mod maps and you're like, oh, that depth in real life is not that deep, well, there's not really too, too deep mud holes. So, I mean, you're not going to get stuck. And you want to get stuck, you know? You want to have fun. You want to have a challenge. Right now this truck is doing extremely well. I 
I'm kind of feathering this uh, gas on it. I'm trying not to spin too much so I don't slide. Alright, let's try to see two wheel drive over these rocks, see what happens. See if we can keep it in high. Yeah, just plow it through there. That's those super swampers going in action. There we go. Never claimed to be the best driver. Alright, so I've been up this. There's two ways that I know that I like to take up it. If you got a little bit taller lift, you can attack this straight. You can come right here and go straight up that right there. I don't think this truck can make it, so I don't want to waste the time trying to initiate that. What I'm going to do, is I'm going to go up this way. Now I know I can't climb up that wall right there, right? So now i got a position. Oop. Come back some. Whoa. Well that turned out to work out just perfect. Ooh, that popped up a little hard. Didn't expect that. But yeah, that's how I take that. And then so I don't get stuck on that lip on that rock up there and then in the mud. I try to come up on this face right here. A lot of trucks can handle this face pretty well. It looks a little steep, but usually you're fine. Okay, now you can go down, but what's the point of that, you know? Have a little fun. Take a little risk. Oh, too much. Oh, I let off just a hair. Oh, I made it. There we go. Oh no, this is not good. Come on, keep powering it up. There we go. That's not how I wanted to take that. Oh, there we go. Let's see the parking brake that for a second. <laughs> I started to slide and just gunned it. That was pretty sweet. I do not want to flip right there. If I put that tire in that hole, I will be flipping. See now, the funny thing is, as I say, that this truck is uh, really nice because it's not so OP. And then I go to driving really good, making it look a little OP. But I think that's one of the things that this truck brings out is it makes you actually try to think about your line because you know that it's not got as much grip as say one of frogs trucks or one of these other guys trucks out here and you know that it ain't got the speed so you try to choose better lines to make up for that fact unlike that right there because I wasn't sure where I was going for a second I think I want to go straight down this it looks a little crazier, but then I won't get on no crazy cambers or nothing. Don't slide down too much. Let's 
Go ahead and slow this thing down a little bit. Oh, hold up. I could come up that way. Yeah, let's do that. Eh, we'll risk it. We'll risk it for a biscuit. Let's go sideways. This truck's heavy and it's probably going to slide a lot. Ooh, and hit my engine. Oh man, I held it together good. Alright guys, now you do not want to go straight down there. It looks like it continues down. That's just a drop off. You will ruin your life. <coughs> what was cool is I thought that that right there, that little rock bridge, you could actually go down. But it's like straight vertical. There's no way. You'll flip, you'll flip down it every time. The trail actually continues right here. There you go. Pretty easy. Oh, what happened there? My camera got me all messed up. Okay, what do I need to do? I need to back this back up. If I can. Oh, what is going on? I just slid. Okay, that's not bad. I could save this. Alright, we're good. It wasn't pretty by any means. If I'm being completely honest with you, I think there might have been an update to the grip of the tires or something since I drove this last. Maybe not. I might be tripping. I might just be driving it way better because I remember spinning more. Or maybe it's the weight that changed. I don't know, we'll see. I know there's some good hill stuff down here, so. Oh crap, my diff. Let's, let's actually try to climb that real quick. I want to see how it does. Let's do it in a camera view too. Look at this interior by the way.
Alright, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. Oh yeah, I thought it was going to be a smooth transition onto that and I could turn around. Let's just turn around down here. Look at that, we're almost out of fuel. We almost went off the road. Gotta use them to lockers. Otherwise, you're just gonna spin. Oh yeah, see, we're spinning a little bit up this. There we go. So yeah, I might be wrong. I was probably just driving a little better. Alright, this hill's a little crazy. There we go. So he's got some decent center of gravity too. It's not super top heavy like some trucks, you know. I said I really like this truck. I'm really excited to see what's in uh, store for the future. Oh, that being said, I almost flipped it there. Oh, look at that. Turn the wheels, got it back over. I got so lucky there. I don't know how I managed that. Alright, which way are we going? Let's go this way.
go, covering some ground here. Put it in two wheel drive and just hammer it down. Come on, two wheel drive. See if you can make it out of this with them boggers. Oh, you're just going to bury yourself. There we go. Gave it a little bit of trouble. Let's go ahead and lock this in. This angle. Kind of keep you from spinning too much and sliding. I've never been on this side. I have no idea where this is going. That is a huge little rock there. I know that I really like this truck though. If you go to Delta Gaming's YouTube channel, there's a video he posted. I think it was today actually, yesterday. I don't quite remember. But uh it shows the trucks he's working on specifically for the about the next six months and uh yeah if you're a chevy guy you're gonna be extremely happy and no doubt they will be done really well because i've seen a video of another truck he just did a gmc sierra a new one dude that thing is so nice and i don't know where this trail goes and i think we're a little stuck on this right here. There we go. Just gotta bump it just right. Is it over this? Come on, truck. You got it? It is over this. Sorry, right, sweet. Where is this taking me? Oh, nice little hill right here. Get these lockers in. Should be able to climb up it. Oh, there we go. Come on, meow. We ain't stuck on the rock either, are we? No, we're just... Yeah, we're just spinning. Come on. See, this type of stuff I'm talking about. You know, it's not too overpowered. Almost 
any frog truck will just climb right up this. Come on. There we go. You gotta work it a little bit. And don't get me wrong, I love frog trucks. It's just sometimes I want a little more challenge. And it's not that the engines are too powerful, it's just the tires are too grippy. So instead of like always just having a just an engine that's you know slower and maybe make some tires that aren't so grippy so that we can all have a challenge sometimes with your beautiful trucks frog like this right here like this is nice ah but sometimes you just want to be able to throw on some grippy tires and rock crawl over it too all right I'm bouncing it hard and it's not so let's try to slow it down some Come on. Okay, I got a different idea. Okay, what if we put our right tire on that part of the hill where it rolls up, right there? You see what I'm saying? A little bit farther up to the right. And then drive up. Like, Will I not have as much of a lip issue for the front to get over? Right there, you see what I'm saying? A little more speed. Let's try a lot more. Okay, let's try that again, but with some more speed. Let's go. We're getting low on fuel again. Oh, that might have been it. We're going to have to refuel and it's going to ruin my positioning. No? Okay, cool. Oh, I got no more fuel in toolbox. Good thing I have mods on. Or, uh, Dev tools. So you see, we'd have been out of fun if there was no dev tools. So you console guys, keep a truck with fuel around, or like a friend in one of frog trucks, because there's usually a thousand liters inside of a bumper. <laughs> oh come on! There we go. See, guys, it's all about using that terrain to your advantage. There we go. And that's how that's done. That was awesome. Where is this trail going? I see it. If I can stay on it, holy crap. I put myself in a hole and now I'm having issues. There we go. But it goes right up here. Yep. Yeah, let's not do that. We need to come more to the right. I do not want to flip over. Not yet. Okay, see if we can bounce it up. Ah, uh, we're caught on the front. There we go. Come on, go, 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 go. There we go. Sometimes you gotta know when to power it. trail going straight ahead I believe okay it splits off 
That makes a little sense. So, uh, we'll crawl to the top of this peak, and then we'll call it. That's what we'll do. Gotta love these TMB trails, Matt. Especially with a sweet truck like this. Like, look at this sexy thing. And look at this little hill right here. See, this is what I'm talking about. You gotta love this TMB maps. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I gotta climb that rock at the top? Alright. We're in for a little uh, challenge here, I think. Possibly. Actually, what do we have here real quick? Let me create something so we can get a good representation for some of you other PC players out here. Uh, right here. Wait, do we want to use that? What's something everybody's using right now, probably? Ram charger. That's a good one. Let's add that ram charger. Right? Let's get this ram charger... Uh, garage it. Got the engine. Winch, we don't need that. Not too worried about none of that. Not worried about none of that. We can make it red. Why not? Let's get some big tires. Let's keep the same tires, basically. Alright, that's everything. Yeah, that's good, probably. Right? Yeah. There we go. We're going to give this a crawl. Oops. What the heck? Looks like an entire difference, by the way, while we're sitting here. And the tires got some good size on them. Look at the draw distance too, or the drawing difference. Which ones do you like better? Mention in the comments below. Which truck do you like better? Alright, so lockers are always in on this. Well, that was a cakewalk, wasn't it? Let's just go up here a little ways. I kind of went at it crazy too just to give you an idea because I love this thing and I love driving it but sometimes you know you know something that just gives you a little more of a challenge which is why I ask is that the best scout truck if you're looking for a more realistic you know playthrough Like, this thing just doesn't have a problem. Which is cool. It looks amazing, don't, don't get me wrong, you know? I'm not modulating the throttle or nothing, you know? I mean, look at that, let's just crawl right up it. Let's just let's see what it does right here. Okay, so we, we get a little little spin when we're trying to go sh up a straight vertical right there. But still insane, you know? Oh, I think it was going to crawl that. 
if I didn't pop it way up in the air. And flip it over. Boom, boom. Oh, I thought it was going to go. That was going to be cool. All right. All right, let's get back in this. Now that you have that, a lot of people have driven that. That's been out for a little while. Let's go ahead and try this. Which I love the sound of this too. There's so many good mods these days. So many good ones. Definitely going to need diff lock on that. Probably going to need a little momentum. So let's start out in three low. I mean, as you see, I was spinning already, and now I'm in trouble. So let's try to re-attack this without flipping over. Oh, are you kidding me? There we go. I said, don't make me do that. I don't want to fight flipping it over on a hilltop. Okay, we're back where we need to be. Let's try to get this tire on here. Shift it up, get some speed. We need to get up. We need to not go to the right. Like it wants to. Right there. Come on, come on. Oh, come on. There we go. Now up this way. Maybe I got lucky on the Ram Charger. Maybe that's why it was easier. I don't think so personally. Driving this, I can feel it. I tried to show you a little representation here. That's why I went up a little bit farther. This thing's steering is not as great. A little more realistic, you know. It's a bigger truck. That is a shorter wheelbase, so it should turn tighter. This is geared a little more proportionally, although I do like a little faster third. Usually when I'm driving the Ram Charger, I just drive it more in second to give it a little slower, you know, realistic feel. Okay, so you see what we did in the Ram Charger there, right? Like, we just turned and went straight up. Like, it just gripped. It was no problem. This was definitely having a little issue. I need to be able to turn, but I don't want to flip over. Ah, come on. Why do you keep putting me over like that? This is one of the things I'm talking about. Alright, what am I going to do here? I need to come in better. I kind of ruined myself a little bit. This is just not going to work well for me. Uh, 
Alright, right there. I need that back tire to back up straight and not slide down it. Like that. Yes. Come on. A little more. I mean, I gotta go little by little. I guess I have to. That gave me a little bit of a hiccup there. Oh no, oh no. There's no winch points. I ruined that. Look, I guess you can see what I'm saying. It gives it more of a challenge. Well, I guess that'll be it for the PvP show episode tonight. We almost made it to the top. We had that one little spot there to get through, and we just couldn't make it. I made it before last night messing around with this truck. It was a pain. It took me a little while. I had to keep turning and then turn back, turning and turn back. And uh, it didn't work out for me this time. So, uh, I'm going to have to recover. Oh, that's it for the PvP show, like I said. Remember, guys, subscribe to Delta Gaming. Uh... If I can figure it out, I'll put it down below. Still kind of new to this stuff, so uh, if I don't, just look it up. You should be easy to find. Uh, thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.